Take the hose and connect it to the inflate valve. With the foot pump comes two valves. The smaller of the two is used to inflate the floor. Disconnect it by just pushing it on. Find the valve on the floor and connect the small hose to this valve. We found it a lot easier to inflate the floor first before we did the walls. Now, remove the small attachment and replace it with a larger attachment which we're going to use to pump up the walls. Unscrew the valve and then take the pump and connect it directly into the valve. is now fully inflated. We know this because there's no more creases in the rim. Next stage, we pull out the hose from the valve. Pull it out firmly, as such, and then all we have to do is screw the cap back onto the valve. Now what we're going to do is connect the hose adapter to the non-toxic hose pipe. Unscrew the tap filter as shown here and then all you need to do is replace it with a tap adapter. The digital thermometer is not waterproof, so we simply attach this to the outside of the wall using a suction cup. Then what we do is place the probe into the water. The recommended water temperature in the pool is between 35 to 38 degrees. Of course, you can always get some help watching the level of the pool and checking the temperature of the water. Across my big brass bed Lay, lady, lay Lay across my big brass bed Whatever colors you
At the other end is a 38 mil drainage pipe. Immerse the pump into the water. Turn on the tap and within about 10 minutes the whole pool will be drained. You can either water the garden or go straight down the drain. Once a pump has drained the water from the pool, then use a sterilising liquid such as Milton to ensure the pool is kept clean and then you can simply put it out to dry as we have here in the garden. Close my eyes, begin to pray. 